I'm uh, Sean McAllister. I'm uh, the managing editor at Zurich Insurance Group. So my son, James, is, is autistic. Um, he also has, um, he, he's non-verbal. Um, he has also, he has learning difficulties. He also has a condition called Pika. So um, he'll try to eat non-edible items. At the moment, he's really keen to eat soap and very liquid, which is rather challenging. Um, so he needs constant care. He, you know, he's, he's nine years old, but he still wears nappies, for instance. He needs help dressing, washing him. So as well as being a father, I guess uh, I'm also a full-time carer as well. Um, I love him to bits, but it is, it, it is obviously challenging. We have communication challenges. There are some behavioural challenges as well. Um, you know, and it can be exhausting and, and, and tough at times, as it is just being a parent for anybody, I guess. Just sometimes it's a bit more, a bit more unpredictable and a bit more extreme at times. So, um, so yes, it's, it can be challenging. Um, one one issue for us, for instance, is childcare. You know, not anybody can take on James. Um, granny, we only have support from from Granny. But she's getting older. And James is getting older and a bit more boisterous, so we, we we're less reliant on her. Um, so, so yeah, so, so we, we have our challenges with James, but you know, we love him to bits and any support we can get is always gratefully accepted. I'm fortunate in that over the last seven years, I, I've been working remotely from home, you know, prior to the pandemic. Um, I, I'm, I work at home in, in Scotland and, uh, and I travel occasionally to the head office in, in Switzerland. Um, and that makes that flexibility and that ability to work from home is, is kind of essential. Um, my wife's a, a teacher, she works three days a week. That's only possible because of the flexibility that I have. Um, that ability to do school drop-offs, to go to any issues that James may have at school, because uh, you know, anything can happen, he's unpredictable. Um, and then you know, when he comes home from school, he, you know, he has to be properly you know, um, you know, watched. You can't just leave him to himself to do his homework or anything. You, know, you need to take care of him. So that flexibility makes life possible for us. Um, and and to be honest, you know, if, if Zurich turned around one day and said, Sean, you must work full time from an office nine to five, then either my wife would have to give up work or I'd have to look for a new job. So, you know, some people don't maybe realise how important flexibility is. It's essential to us, you know, and uh, and it's great when companies offer this. And, and I'm fortunate that I have a company that does do that. And, and more importantly as well, it's not just company policy, but you need managers who understand that as well. Um, because, you know, who, who understand you still can provide a, can still do your job, provide an awful lot of value, but you just need that bit of flexibility, um, a little bit of empathy sometimes, a little bit of consideration. You give me that, I'll give you everything back in return. So it's, I think it's really important that we raise awareness of autism uh, and also understanding as well. Um, a lot of people have heard of autism, but they don't quite understand what it means. And it, and it is difficult because it's such a broad spectrum. Um, there's no such thing as a typical autistic person or child. Uh, everyone's very, very different. Um, but we need to keep pushing that message out there. Um, it helps in a number of ways. I mean, I hope that it will enable more autistic adults to find employment. Employment rates are just sadly so, so low. And, and that needs to be rectified. And, and that could be helped by workplace policies with recruitment, etc., management training. Um, and, and also by raising awareness of if the management team are more aware of some of the challenges that it can bring to parents, um, then hopefully they'll be a bit more considerate um, and flexible. Um, and then obviously we want to raise awareness of autism to society at large. You know, I just want people to be just a bit more considerate, just to be kind. Um, I think we all need to learn that when someone's different, that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing, whether they're autistic or some other neurodiversity or whatever it may be. 
you know being different is good and we need to embrace difference um and uh whether that's embracing people with different opinions in the meeting or just embracing someone who looks or sounds differently you may encounter when you go out shopping and and so the more we we raise awareness and discuss these topics the more it kind of becomes the norm and we normalize it and hopefully one day we won't need to keep raising awareness i hope that one day when we talk about people with different minds it's no different to whether somebody's left-handed or right-handed no one discusses that it's not a big factor and it needs to be the same with how people think